top is food writer, culinary expert, and author Gail Simmons. She's a global authority on food, and her delicious, descriptive critiques of the contestants have made it to 21 seasons as a judge on Bravo's Top Chef. Yeah. Kept viewers like me hungry for more. But when she wrote her own cookbook, Bringing It Home, fans found she's as great as she is in the kitchen, as she is judging equally. Tam fam, I adore her. She brings the flavor. Please welcome Gail Simmons to our show. Come on, Gail. My friend, you look great. So do you. I mean, oh, it's, it's whatever you make and already smells good. So you want oh, me yeah. over? Oh so yeah, we're gonna cook. We're asking the question: What do you want to eat more of in 2024? So we have a list here. Mm -hmm. This is like a, a casino, but it's gonna stop at what you pick for yours. Okay, great. Okay, you want more? I want more breakfast for dinner. So let's see here, breakfast for dinner. There it is. So. I love that. A lot of people didn't see that coming. I was surprised. Why breakfast for dinner? A couple reasons. One, I was thinking about, I love this question. I was thinking about it in my end of year, you know, taking into account last year, what I wanted to do better, what I wanted to do stronger. And I want to make dinner easy. Yeah. And there's a few things at dinner that I can always rely on that I have in my fridge. And they're the same things oh. that I have for breakfast. Because those are the things that make me feel good, that are easy, that I know everybody can do. I like also, them. I really love leftovers. You like leftovers? Me yes. too. So the inspiration behind this recipe. This, so this is actually a dish, a, a very famous dish in Mexico, in mm. central Mexico, called chilaquiles with eggs. Now you can do this with pulled chicken, Ooh. you can do this with pulled, pulled, pulled pork, and make it more only what dinner What is the flavor profile of this? We're gonna make salsa verde, fresh tomatillos, jalapenos, onions, garlic. We're gonna make a really quick salsa, and then I'm gonna throw these on. I'm gonna show you how uh -oh. to do it. You husk your tomatillos, oh. and you're just gonna throw them on the grill. No oil, no nothing. So tomatillos, for people who don't know, do they give you a spiciness, a No, they are like a green tomato, mm -hmm. a juiciness, Ooh. beautiful flavor. Okay. And so I'm gonna throw them and on we, the grill. I see you have jalapenos, so you've got heat with exactly. it. Exactly, you've you got the garlic jalapenos. with it, and we've got crunch over here. So I'm gonna let you so take it. So we're gonna it. have it all. Now the key, the key, the most important thing you can take out the seeds if you want, make it a little less spicy, but just throw them on. This is not fussy. I do have to bring up, you were uh, profiled in a magazine talking about breakfast, but I was not yes. looking at the breakfast. I was looking at how great you ah, looked. Sure. That was on Women's Health. You were in Women's, women's health. health, and you were the picture of health. Well, it, well, it depends on the day. <laughs> but we're starting January yeah. feeling good about ourselves. I love it. All right, so let's get to the recipe. I'm going to watch or eat. Well, so the, well, okay. I'm going to have you do both, actually. Okay. You're okay. going to actually take a lot of these beautiful roasted vegetables. I always dress vegetables. fancy on cook shows so I can just eat. That's just me signaling I to get you involved. Okay. So the key to chilaquiles is actually the tortillas, and we're going to get okay. there later. It's tortillas. Tortillas, really good quality, crunchy tortillas, but they are simmered mm -hmm. in a salsa. And then you can add protein if you wish. And you're using See a grill pan. That's right. Okay. A grill pan is your Love best it. friend. And look what I'm doing. I'm literally, I've grilled them, I've charred them all up, and I'm just gonna literally throw it all in a blender. Okay. okay. Add, let's add some cilantro. Oh, I think I love I'm gonna grab a little. You know, there was a big debate recently online about cilantro. I love cilantro me because too. I grew up in Texas. My favorite yeah. food is Tex Mex. Of course. I can no, eat Tex Mex with me today, all day then. long. And Caribbean food. That me too. too. We'll I get to that Tex -Mex in a second. and Caribbean are my favorite foods. I'm I love that. I got a shout out for Tex Mex. There you go. I love okay. Tex Mex. Okay, so, so here we got this. We have lime. Okay. A little oil. That's gonna like emulsify, make it nice and rich. That's and your clean. olive oil. Or olive, olive oil. oil. Okay, you can put a neutral oil if All you right. want. That's it with the cilantro and the lime juice. Go ahead. Oh, I can now blend we can it blend up. it up. I'll put the lid on. Yeah. That's a good idea. I know. Especially every, on TV. Every time we do this, the audience is like, ooh, this is going to go really bad on that mm -hmm. dress she doesn't own. OK. There you go. All right, so we're making our salsa verde. Salsa verde, that's right. And it's just going to blend up, and it's going to be delicious now, and Now, do you like spicy? Gorgeous. I do. You, I do, too. I'm a one jalapeno person. Fine. And I that's keep great. the seeds in. But I like yeah. a little heat. I don't like heat that makes me Not faint. be able to taste right. it. I still want to. Well, I, don't, I don't approve of that okay. either. All right. That's so perfect. You're when done. When we come back, Gail's going to show us how to make the crunchy, salty, savory chilaquiles to go with the bowl salsa verde that we're going to taste, or I'm going to taste for you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Her beautiful.
beautiful, zesty salsa verde with a little kick. We started it up. Now we're going to get to the crunch. I love that we were both in Jamaica yes. for New Year's. My favorite celebrating. place. It's funny because Tex-Mex and Caribbean food are my favorite yep. because I love I love the layers of, of I food. Agree. I agree. Mean, I mean, I can eat Jamaican food as a side note. It has nothing to do with breakfast Well, you have to dinner. come back. We'll do a whole Forever. Caribbean kitchen. Okay. Oh, my God. I would love it. I love it. All right. So this okay, so is Okay, so I have choice. my salsa verde. It's okay. made. It's sort of cooling. Okay. Can you put some chips in this bowl, like fill it up three quarters of the way. Luckily and then you got me in. doing this because I'll eat all of yeah, these chips. Yeah, that's fine. It's for snacking. So the thing about breakfast for dinner, right, mm -hmm. is that I, I always have eggs in my fridge. I always have cheese in yeah. my fridge. I try to always have like some limes and then a bag of tortilla chips is pretty easy to get. Yeah. So it's something that can come together and like I always want, and then I get this protein of the eggs and it's just a fun thing. I know my kids are going to eat it if I don't make it too spicy. I'm going to throw a big handful of cilantro in here, too. Nice. And I'm going to throw, you want to put in, like, um, two big handfuls of scallions in there. Two big handfuls of scallions. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take uh -huh. about three quarters of this salsa. Not all of it. I want to make okay. sure that the... And a reminder, there's a QR code at the bottom of the screen. The full recipe is there for you. Delicious. Is it delicious? So delicious. I mean, all right. I feel I'm like taste you, should, it now. you should. I am. Do okay. it, do it, do it. It's limey and zesty Ooh. and a little bit spicy. <laughs> yes. Good. See, that's the reaction I want in 2024 to everything I do. That is delicious. So I'm just tossing it all Ooh. together. Okay. I want to, like, soak my chips mm. in that salsa, oh, get them nice okay. and juicy, because they're going to simmer and as they bake and take on this whole other amazing texture. Okay. And once I've tossed them, I'm going to put about half of them right in here. And then I'm gonna put a big layer, you can help me with this, what kind of, of cheese? Monterey Jack. Oh, Jack. Zesty yeah. cheese, go for oh, it. Just take some, perfect, perfect. This, my kid will love this. He is a cheese me fanatic. Too. Oh, he got some cheese. This guy. is going in the oven, okay. 350 for right. about 10 minutes to get nice and cheesy. Nice. Ooh. And then it's gonna come, oh, actually, I, I should have done another layer, but That's it's gonna okay. be fine. All if you right. have extra chips, you can do a, a second a double layer, layer. Okay. of the extra chips mm. and extra cheese. I could dive in this already. Look uh -huh. at that cheese. Okay, now, uh, eggs. I can't help myself. No, go for it. I mean, uh, it's not totally done yet, but I, 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 I believe in tasting as you go. Mm, that you know? good. All right, we're going to rearrange here. Okay. And now I have my eggs. I'm going to take, I have these layers of cheese and salsa mm -hmm. and the simmering, crispy, soft deliciousness of the tortilla chips, and I'm going to add a little bit of extra sauce okay. to moisten it up. Ooh. You can use the rest of that sauce. That is amazing. And then I'm going to make what I like to call nestled eggs so mm -hmm. I can bake them. So I'm going to take an egg and I'm going to make a little kind of well a little well for them. Well, okay. exactly, exactly. That's the right word. Always crack your eggs, by the way, on a flat surface. Who at home loves to crack an egg right here, like on the edge of a. And all the eggshells no, get inside the egg. The shell, the egg. Exactly, yeah. no. You want a clean, you want a clean break, mm -hmm. as they say, just like with the relationship. Relationship. <laughs> you said it first, not me. <laughs> I believe in a clean break. I only said it because I heard all of y'all think it. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I said. She's a mind I blame reader. you, the Tam fan, for that joke. Okay. And then I'm going to just put a little more, more cheese. cheese. Oh, yes, ma'am. You're talking Over about the language. Egg. So it's sort of breakfasty, but it's also super zesty and mm. savory. And that's going and how long back do you bake this? in the oven about 20 minutes. Okay. Make sure it's not too hot. I love Now, this does feel like breakfast for dinner. I like that. You it's hearty. Time. It is. It's hearty, nice and, and hearty. it's also delicious as a leftover. Okay. And this is how it comes out looking. Beautiful. Oh. The eggs are baked in and gorgeous. And then I just have, like, a whole bunch of... I have a whole bunch of garnishes to kind of oh, make it you fun. Have more. Look at me. I'm already ready to no, play. You like, are, can I garnish my dish, Tamara, and all? You know, I have, like, beautiful... I mean, you can kind of make it your own. You can do a bar, or you can put the garnishes on top. Before I, like... I take a bite, though, I've got to congratulate you. It was at 47 Emmy nominations, yes. five yes. for upcoming awards yes. this week, and two wins. That's right. It has been a joy to be on Top Chef. It is oh. one of these experiences in life, which I'm sure you can relate to, yeah. Tamara, where... You don't expect it. You don't know how it's going to go. You kind of say yes, but you're not quite sure about yeah. the ending. And 18 years of my life later, I'm with the same TV family making I the same show that we So I love that. And let me tell you, it's just the best. Go for it. Get okay. in there. As you know, that show is the bellwether. I mean, it spawns so many shows, but the original has. is just fantastic. Thank okay, you. so I happen to like my eggs runny, so you did my eggs right here. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. You want to watch them while you're baking. Yeah. Don't just put it in the oven and walk away, because... 
That's exactly right. Depending on how you want your eggs, if you want them a little more runny, you're going to take them out a little earlier. Ooh. If you want to bake them through, you can do that too. Ooh. I added at the end a little queso fresco, Mexican oh, yeah, fresh of course. cheese, I love queso. Oh, yes. which is delicious. And then you can kind of put, I have avocado here, I have radishes, cucumber. I mean, you can sort of like garnish with whatever you want. Oh my God. Oh, I Make look at it that beautiful. Cheese. Look at that Yes. Egg. There oh you go. Goodness. You can even okay. do a little at the end. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Gail, I don't own this dress. Watch that line. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're right. You're totally right. <laughs> We're like glamoring up in the kitchen for the new year, but oh. Boom, my oh. fork. There you go. Thank you. See breakfast for dinner. It's so fun. And if you have oh. leftover salsa, obviously you can use it with chips. You can make anything with it. It's like the perfect condiment to keep in your fridge for a few days. Ooh. You will go through it so fast. And also, it's great the next day for breakfast. This is so you get really a two good. in one. And this is one of those big group dishes because you have a lot of people over for dinner. And this is a great thing mm -hmm. to put in the middle and everybody go at it. Well, Gail, thank Super you Bowl so much. Anything. Happy New York. Great surprise. Thank you. Check out season 21 of Top Chef coming 2024.